Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. I'm having a look at a puzzle called Joust Odd today by Pulsar, who makes their debut on the channel. I'm delighted to say they've sent this in and we're going to give it a go. So it's got, it's got a knight's move rule. So I know who my friend is today. It is, where is the little fella? Knighty McKnightface is going to be telling me off for forgetting the knight's move a bit later in this video. It's almost guaranteed. Now, first things first, don't forget, check out our Patreon. Dangerous to Know is um, April's Puzzle Hunt and proving very popular. You do have to defeat some supervillains and save the world, but it's well within your capabilities, I know. Give it a try. Uh, there is also, of course, loads going on all the time around the channel. Um, sometimes streaming, sometimes extra content on Patreon, sometimes um, stuff going on, extra releases within our apps. Do check out the apps link under the video. And there's always new items of merchandise every now and then. And Sven Sudoku Pad, check it all out on the links under the video. But the first link is to this puzzle, and I'm going to go through the rules now. Normal Sudoku rules apply. One to nine goes in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Now, cells separated by knights move in chess cannot have the same digits. So in these two cells, you cannot put the same number. Um, a knight's move is always one in one direction and two in another. So those two are a knight's move apart as well. Digits in cages sum to the number shown in the top left corner. So those five add up to 32. But X in these cage totals can be any digit. And they're, they're two digit cage totals, um, which I think is obvious. This one couldn't be one times X, for instance. So it's somewhere, according to the lettering, between 10 and 19, the cage total there. Anyway, those are the rules. Give it a try. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. And I'm instantly going to share a secret with you. The secret of the sum of every row, column and box in a Sudoku. It's always 45, incredibly, because that's the total of 1 to 9. So in this row, these 9 cells add up to 45. Now, if we add up the total of these 11 cells, which we know because it's been communicated to us via cage totals, we see that they add up to 59. So if we subtract the 45 in those cells, we know that these cells add up to 14. That's either a 5-9 pair or a 6-8 pair. Um, similarly, this box adds up to that same total of 45. If we deduct these cages, which add up to 37, these ones add up to 8 which makes them either a 1, 2, 5 or a 1, 3, 4 triple. But in the 15 cage, hmm, I was going to say that we know the parity of this cell, and we do. I just thought it might help, and it doesn't. In fact, let's colour all of the... I think we might be parity colouring this puzzle. Now I've started looking at cages. We'll make all of those circles O is for odd and O is for orange. Now, in this 15 cage, we've got two odds, so we're adding up to even so far. We must need another odd there. This is odd. Ah, what is, what is my little friend whispering? He's saying, look at the knight's move. It's going to matter, isn't it? Because look, this digit sees every one of these digits. This is also from 1, 3 or 5, but these digits add up to 15. Now, I thought a moment ago, there's probably lots of ways of doing that with three odd digits. There aren't. There are two ways of doing that. It's either 1, 5, 9 or 3, 5, 7. Now, how do I know that? Well, I mean, there are lots of ways of working it out. But somehow I know that five is the average odd digit. They are one, three, five, seven, nine, the possibilities. 
which one of those add up to that total is 25 of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So the two odd digits missing from this cage add up to 10. So they don't involve 5, so 5's in it. They involve either 1 and 9 or 3 and 7. So this cage contains a 5 and either a 1, 9 or a 3, 7. Now all of the cells in that cage see this cell, either by knight's move or by being in the same box. So that can't be a 5, because we know there's a 5 there. Whatever it is in this cage, in this box, in this cell, is not in this cage. So that is the low digit that's missing. Oh, and look, this digit sees all of those, and this digit sees all of those. So, look, this group of cells, let's flash them yellow. That group of cells that I've got the orange yellow colouring in, that is a set of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, because they all see each other. This one sees that by Sudoku and those two by Knight's Move. This one sees that by Sudoku and those two by Knight's Move. They see each other by virtue of being in the same cage, and these see each other by virtue of being in the same box. Isn't that brilliant? That, this is going to be another set of, sorry, this group of 1, Oh, no, it's not, because these two could be the same. Oh, OK, you have to be very careful with, with your knighty McKnight face knight's moves here. Oh, it's a very clever setup. I do like this. I was worried I was going to have to get into these two X's and one X's. I really haven't had to do that yet. Uh, no doubt that is a treat ahead of me. Now... It's just occurred to me there's obviously a 9 in this cage, in this cage, because it's a 22 cage. It's either 9, 8, 5, or 9, 7, 6. Now, what has occurred to me is that might matter in terms of this foursome. Maybe not. I thought, I thought it was going to. Oh, look, if you, put, if you make this a 9, 5 pair, then there has to be a 9 in one of these cells. Then there has to be a 9 in one of these cells, and that becomes a 9 2, 1 cage. And then 5's over here. Oh, now I'm getting confused. Right. I don't quite know what to do next, but I do know I'm on the right track. That's so strange, but it's definitely true. These add up to 15 as well, because we can subtract 16 plus 14, which is 30, from the box total, which is 45. So these have a 5 in. And remember, this is a set of the digits 1 to 5. So those two aren't 5, and the 5 in this cage is here. These two are a pair that do add up to 10. Ah, now that's a 5. We knew that these were going to add up to 8, so we can fill in 2 and 1, and that 1 now can't appear here, so that's a 3-7 pair. This is now, therefore, a 1-5-9 pair. And these cells, they're not necessarily a 3-7 pair, but they are selected from 3 and 7. They might both be 3s or 7s. But they see each of these. That's brilliant. I, I mean, I really like this. Is it worth considering where does 8 go here? No, it could be in that cage with a 4. But this 3-7 pair both sees this cell and this cell. Ah, oh. 5 sees that cell by Sudoku. Now, either... Oh, no, hang on, this is impossible now. Right, 9, 5 is impossible here, because although you could write 9 there and 5 there, that would require 9 to be here, and you'd have a 9, 5 pair in each of those sets, and this 9 and 5 would have to appear in this group of cells, but they only add up to 12, so that's not what's going on. This is a 6, 8 pair now. Um, now we have to find a berth for 6 and 8 in this row.
Oh, what's more, one of them is going to get into this cage. This is either a 976 cage or a 98... It's not a 985 cage because we've placed five. It is a 976 cage. Six is going to be in one of those cells. It's obviously in one of those cells, so now it's in one of these. And I don't know whether it's with one five or two four yet, but eight in this row, well, this is eight four three in fact. They add up to 15 appropriately. This one isn't three because it sees a three seven pair and that one isn't seven. Eight four three, there is a six over here. Now there's not a four. So that's six five one and this is two seven nine and I'm remembering the knight's move. That mustn't be a two. Uh, 279 makes this a 3, that makes this a 7. And we've got a 5 to place in box 4, and a 1 and 4. Now, 5 sees that cell. 1 and 4 are a pair looking at that cell, because even if, if that's a 1, that can't be a 1 by Sudoku. If that's a 1, it can't be a 1 by Knight's move. That can't be five by knight's move. These are from three, four, seven, nine in some order. Well, they, yeah, not just in some order, they're selected from three, four, seven, nine. They must include three and four. These include two and eight. Okay, what cometh next? That doesn't see all of the odd digits. Oh, I've forgotten my colouring. Uh, maybe there isn't that much I could have actually done. There's a very few cells that I know are odd or even here. So let's just colour those ones in. I haven't really been thinking about the colouring much, and maybe I should have been. Not sure. Hmm. Okay, I'm also a little unclear. Right, we don't know that that's a pair. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting myself confused. If they were both sevens, though, Seven could only go there in box five. That would be with a four, three pair here. And two, six, eight here. If they were both threes, three would be literally there. But if it's a seven, three pair, I don't think I've quite got so much information. So I should just stop thinking along those lines. It's not doing me any good at all. OK, come on. Where do we go next? Um, I'm worried that we're meant to now be looking at these boxes at the top, which aren't very high totals, apart from the 20... In fact, the 20-something in three cells is quite high. The one-something in those cages feels pretty low now. Now that I have a slight chance to think about it. I don't know, sorry, I haven't worked out what the next stage of this puzzle is at all. Maybe I'm missing a basic knight's move jobby. Or maybe I really should be able to do something with the 159 triple. So five, for instance, oh no, we know five's in one of those two. I was going to analyse its possible positions there. That's silly. Um, we know that eight is either here with a two-four pair. Oh, then eight would end up in one of these cells. OK, I'm going to consider this box now. The absolute minimum digits that could go in here are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which would add up to 15. And would complete a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 set in the column. No, I don't know. 
Sorry, I'm going to have to find something else to do in this puzzle because I'm not managing to work out what I'm meant to be looking at next. Seven. Seven, three, four. Or seven... Right, one of these cages has two odd digits in it because both of them have even totals. We have two odd digits left to place in the box. So one of them has a seven and three in. If it's up here, this is a three, six, seven triple. And if it's down here, it's a three, seven, four triple. Now we would know which way it went down here. It would be three there, seven there, and four here. If we were placing three, six, seven up here, this would be two, four, eight. And that can't be a two, oh! This can't be 2, 6 or 8 using the knight's move, or 1, 5 or 9, or 7 or 3. This is a weird naked single, 4. Goodness me, and that sees this cell by knight's move. Now there's a 4 in one of those two cells. Ah, that's become a 9 since we got the 1. That fixes the triple in the middle box. This now has a 4 in it. That doesn't mean this is necessarily 7 and 3, because this could be 6, 3, 7, and that could be 2 and 8. This cell is seeing the 6, 8 pair down here. This is another naked single, is it? No, I've got it wrong. I've got it wrong. It's seeing 1, 5, 4, 9 in the box. It's seeing that 6, 8 pair, and it's seeing 7. This is 2 or 3, making this one 7 or 8. Six is definitely in this cage, but now either with three seven or with two eight. This has become seven or two in the column since we got the nine. Am I missing a knight's move thing again? Probably, possibly, maybe. Four sees that cell. That's probably all. No, one sees that cell. And it is easy to miss this stuff as, as you do get some digits to unfold. And it's all very well saying stop and see what everything you've done has created. But it's quite hard to know what everything you've done has created, even if you study the grid for a while. Anyway, these are at a minimum 256, which adds up to 13. So we now have a maximum for this cell, which is 6. And that wouldn't work because these would need to be 2, 5, 6. And that would repeat a 6 in the cage. So this has to be less than 6. It's not 5. It's 1, 3 or 4. What about this set? Well, I was going to say 2, 4, 6 is the minimum because of 9, 1, 5 being used up. But that is odd. So let's say 2, th oh, two 3, 4. I hadn't thought of that. Bother. Ah, oh, maybe we could rule out 7. If that was a 7, that would make this a 2. The other cells here would have to be at least 7, 3, 4. And we'd be up to 14. These would have to be 1 and 2. 1 there and 2 there. That might work. Bother. This can't be 9 or 5 by, by the powers. By, by the law of knight's move and Sudoku. This can't be one or five up here. Now, there is no nine here. If you had a nine in this cage, the other two digits would be 2 and 5 at a minimum. OK, you're still within bounds of keeping within 1x. I was hoping to confine 9 to those cells and thus solve this cell, but it was not to be. 2 and 8 are in this group. It's been, it'd be nice to unfold this. Two, 
28 or 37. No, I don't know. So I, th I think we are beginning to look at these cells. Maybe I need to holistically add everything that's caged in these top rows. I don't know, that feels very open-ended. Maybe not. Maybe I should go back to thinking about what if that is either a 3-7 pair or the same digit? If those are the same digit, it's either a 3 forcing a 3 into that cell or a 7 forcing a 7 into that cell. And that's kind of the same effect. So there is a good chance that's a 3 and a 7. But if they're different from each other, then this digit is even. does. I feel like I'm a, a shilling short of a pound at the moment. What am I not understanding here? After these three and that, we've only got one more odd digit to come in this column. Okay, two has to be in this group of cells, surely. Yeah, this is interesting, this is interesting. If two wasn't here, they could only be five, six, seven at a minimum. Now, that does add up to 18, and with a one here, we would just stay under the 20. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can prove why five, six, seven doesn't work here. We would be then going, yeah, that doesn't work because there'd be nowhere for two and nine in the column. Right. There, there'd be only that cell to put both two and nine in, if you put five, six, seven here. So if you don't put two here, the only way to keep this cage total down low enough is by five, six, seven here, and that doesn't work. So two is in that group of cells. Now two is not here. And the two in the bottom row is here. And now this cage has to have at least three, four, six on this side. Minimum, because one, two, five have gone. And if that was three, four, six, this would be seven, eight, and that would have to be another one, which won't work. So let's call this at least three, four, seven, which I think does work. Actually, the two in this box is now in one of those two cells. If it's there, that's an eight. Anyway, three, four, seven, minimum here. So that's 14. Now these have a maximum score of five, these two cells. So that one is one or three. Even this one, which can't be four, is one, two, or three. And we're really getting some low digits candidates up here now. I sort of thought these were going to be three seven pairs and I'm beginning to doubt that now. Doesn't really matter anyway. Um, 9152. So is there a digit that can't go here like 8? 483 would be 15. Ah! Again, let's, let's think about the totals here. So three, four, seven, and two, five, six. Actually, that works fine. Those are the totals I've been working on. Oh, bother. I thought I was gonna be able to add up all these cages together and see that something wasn't right. Now, does one of these have to be a one? What did we say? Three, four, seven minimum here. Ah, oh, and if you used a three here, maybe you have to use a three here. If you didn't use a three here, you've got a four, six, seven minimum. That's 17, plus even one and two is 20. That's too much. So we are using a three here, 
as well as a four that turned up by Sudoku. We're using a three by minimization. And that ma makes this digit a one and that one a two because they're in the same cage. And now we are using one, two, three, and four. And I don't even have to worry what the other digit is because it's definitely going to be within the bounds of one X for the cage. This can't be a one though. So now this is three or four. And the total here, oh, there's a three in the cage, so that's not a three. Uh, the total here, though, which starts at 256 at the minimum, now has a maximum of 16. So the minimum is 13, 256. The maximum is 16. I don't know. That's not as helpful as I'd expected. OK, so let's think about 3 and 4 are used here, 9, 1, 5, 2. These are selected from 6, 7, 8, and that's a triple in the box. This cell is 2 or 3, accordingly. Uh, that 1 sees this cell. So now we have a 3, 7 pair, and they're both looking at this cell, which can't be 7. Where else are they both looking? There are various places like there, 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 there. It's weird how many cells two Sudoku digits can see using the knight's move. So seven is in one of those two cells in row in box five. Therefore, that's a three, and we've sorted that out. This is a seven doesn't resolve the three seven pair it just does those digits that's not seven that's not a three ah oh, gosh it feels tough doesn't it that one has made this a six oh, I'm gonna keep going with the coloring because it, it hasn't actually stopped helping to be honest um, I shouldn't say that out loud in case it jinxes it at this point. Okay, that's a two, three pair. Let's remove the corner marks. We know seven's in one of those cells. It's a six, seven, eight, triple. Five, two, three, four. So one is definitely in one of these two cells. Does that have to be three or four? Like that. This can't be two. Why is this? And this has to be kept down, doesn't it? This has to have a one in it. Look at that. If this was two, three, four, five, six, which it can't be because of that anyway, but it would already add up to 20. So it's not that, it's got a one in it. And that one is in one of those cells because of this and this. Now we can place one in column seven and it's here. Now we can place one in row six and then we're left with this X wing on ones that I don't think the Knights move resolves but let's think about whether two has to be in this cage I think because of that it does if two wasn't in it we could only use one of three or four and the minimum would be one three five six seven and that adds up to 22 which is too much so two is in the cage it's not in one of those cells by Sudoku so it is in one of these and um, and and what does that not prove anything? Probably doesn't. How have I not resolved this two three pair? Honestly, I I can imagine you're shouting something at me now. That's fair enough. You may have been doing it before. Right, two and five are definitely in this group of cells. In fact, five is in one of those two. So two and five are there, along with a higher digit. Which digit? Two, five, and... I don't know, it's, it's barely restrained by the, the cage total. So let's keep thinking about this one. If this was one, two, five, six, seven, that's too much already, that's 21. 
So the other digit from three or four is in this, but I can't really prescribe where that goes. I just know that these cells aren't from one, two, three or four. So these two, actually we've only got six, eight and nine to put in this, no, hang on, hang on. Those two can't be from one, two, three, four or five or seven. Uh, it's not just a six, eight, nine triple remaining because I haven't resolved this digit. Oh, nine looks at that cell. If that's what you're shouting, thank you. I heard you suddenly. Three there. Um, do I know where nine goes in column three? Does nine have to go into this cage? It will do unless the cage can be oh, 875 or 876. So there are options. Probably not worth working on at the moment. Uh, two and eight. This digit sees one, four, three, five, six, seven, two. It is eight or nine. It would see that. So it'd be nice to know what that is. And I don't. This sees four by Sudoku. But it could be three. That's weird. Okay, it's in this box. I need to do more work in this box. These digits are from, one of them is even, is six or eight. One of them is a one. Yeah, there's a seven, a seven nine pair in the column that I haven't really noticed. So, these involve, well, have we worked out? No, we haven't worked out that this is a six, eight, nine triple. But either six, I don't know, it's very either or. Either six or eight is in those cells. Yeah, I don't know. Um, this is three, four and a higher digit. If it's an even digit, then this is one, three, four, six, eight. This would either be two, five, seven or two, five, nine. Two, even two, five, nine isn't too much as long as it went with a three. That might be what it turns out to be in the end, but I haven't got that far yet. OK, come on, Mark, just figure out what you're missing here. This pair involves a two that I don't think is resolved by the knight's move. But that does stop this being a two, and that already can't be a two. So the two in the central row has to go in one of these positions, and that rules out two from here. And therefore we've definitely got a two in one of those two positions. That's not a two, and now this is a two. If only that reached that by knight's move or one of those. It doesn't. But still, we found a two. don't think I can do more with twos. That was quite good, though. Um, how about five, which can't be there? Five, ooh, it's in one of those positions and one of those. Ah, whatever this is goes into this cage because it sees all of those positions. That's interesting. Now, if it was a three, the only way it could go into this cage and get to the right total is if that was three, eight, nine. So it feels like it's more likely to be a seven. And that would be a seven, and that would be a three. Oh, goodness, what does that do? It's really interesting that this has to go into that cage. I wish I could actually use it. Seven could easily go into this cage with even without a nine getting into the cage. Five, three, one, seven, two. So can that be four? Can they be four? Maybe. 
Okay, what about this cell? I haven't really focused on it. Can't be four. So four in the columns in one of those two positions. It is easy to miss Knight's moves, and I know you're probably seeing one and telling me all about it, but it is easy to just not be able to pick them up, however much you scan for them. Right, we know that five's in one of those cells, so neither of these can be a five. So either five's in this cage, or it's here. And if it was here, that would be a five, and that would have to be a five. And then we would definitely keep three out of the top left cage. I don't know the answer. Again, I don't know the answer. Two can't be there by Sudoku. No, by Knight's move, I mean. Oh, three, look, it's just Sudoku and Knight's move. That can't be a three, so where's the three in column one? It is up in this cage. So that is a 389 cage to get to the required 2x of 20. And now this can't be 7, because there would be nowhere for it to go here. So that is a 3. Wow, that's a bit unexpected, but great. That ought to be helpful. 7, where does that go in box 1? It goes there. Nowhere else is possible, allowing for the knight's move. So this is not a 7. One of these two is a 7. Um, these others are 4, 5 and 6 in some order. Oh, they can't be fives. That's just Sudoku, so I can whack in a five there. That's a four-six pair. This is eight or nine. Oh, I wanted to say it couldn't be eight given the middle box. That's not necessarily true. That's an eight-nine pair, though, both looking at this cell, which is therefore two or six. And I believe those digits to be even. Which one of these is a three, and does that matter? Probably not. Um, two, six, one, nine, four, seven, two, six, three, five in row six is in one of those two positions. Seven's in one of those two. Five, seven, three, two. Okay, so we're going to get over to this cage again, aren't we? Oh no, we're going to use that 4-6 pair. They both see this cell, so that can't be 4. So this is 4 in box 2. And that makes this 3. And that doesn't narrow down this field from what I remember. In fact, I think they could still be 5-9, which is very disappointing. But we've got 3 there, 3 there. We get 3 in the corner. That's 3 in the corner. That's 3 in the spot. Light. Losing its religion. Um, okay, there's a one in one of those. Basically, the total here is done. So, that eight, nine pair both see this cell. Which also sees one, seven, three, two, and six. So, that's four or five. This eight, nine pair both see that cell. Uh, which doesn't really help at all. One of those is a six in this box, and that's not. That's probably been available for a long old time. That is the same as that digit. Again, some knights move things popping off, isn't it, somewhere? Because we've got quite a lot done lately. Seven, three, one, five is in one of those two cells, definitely in the column. Still, I don't know what this is. Um, this pair, though. If that was a seven, that's a nine. Threes, twos, we know that. Four. Now we have to keep this total down. And now we can't have three in this box. So the absolute minimum is 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, which adds up to 18, doesn't it? 
and there is only one degree of freedom. So this is either 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, or 1, 2, 4, 5, 7. It is. We've got 1 in one of those positions, 2 in one of those, 4 in one of those. So they're a 1, 2, 4 set, where 1 can't be there and 2 can't be there. That is a set of three digits, 1, 2, 4 there. Now, these have to have a 5 and either 6 or 7. They have to have a 5, so that's not 5, and that is 5. This one is a higher digit. Oh, come on. 8 or 9 have to be in these three cells. Come on, this was good. Let's do a bit more with it. 2, 4, and 1. 3, 1, 5, 7, 2. Oh, this can't be a 4. I don't know how long that's been available for. That's probably the one you've been shouting at the screen the most about. I think that's been available for a long time. So this is 6, 8, or 9. Oh, and this digit can be anything now in this cage, just like that one. Oh, bother. So these cages are kind of done. As long as I keep a 5 in one of those cells, I've finished. That's quite annoying because I still don't really know what I'm not, what I'm not seeing. Oh, knights move puzzles. They're so mean. One, four, three, five. One of those is a six. So these are from... That is... Can't be a nine. So that's two or eight. And this cell... See there, I think two, seven, eight, or nine, annoyingly, any of them. Now, four then. Four can't be in any of those cells. So one of these is a four. Four can't be in those cells or that one. So one of these three is a four. This is how we're going to finally finish this off, is by popping something out from a triple position whammy or something like all of those cells see that that's intriguing and they see that that's a six eight nine triple that all see no they don't i've got that wrong sorry but they do all see that cell because they're in the same box as those two so that can't be six oh, that was nearly it now either that's a six or that's a six in row two if that's a six that's a six that's a six Look at that. Then there'd be nowhere for six in column six because of the knight's move. So that's not a six. That's intriguing. So this is a six. That cage total is now 19, very happily. That can't be a six. So one of these two is a six. That's not a six. Neither of those are a six. They're a one-eight pair. That's a seven. That's a nine on the circle. That's eight and nine. Uh, bet one of these is done now, but I can't see how. That eight is ruled out of there, but much more importantly, nine is ruled out of here. This is a four. That's not a four. Nine, one, seven, three, four, six. That's become a five. We've got a two, eight pair here. They both see that cell. So that's a nine. That's eight, two, eight. Let's get rid of the annoying funky dunk corner marks there. I will catch up on the colouring in a moment. 538791. In fact, these are all even. 246 up here. Um, right, let's do such colouring as I can see just now. Those all go orange, and indeed those, why not? And these others go blue. There we go, a couple of orange down there. Now, how is that going to help? Two sees that one by knight's move. Six, eight, see that. Seven. One, eight. I don't know what's going on up there. Six is in one of those cells. Should that be resolved? I can't see how. This is a three. No, it's not. We've got a three in the box. One, two, four, five, seven. This is six, eight, or nine, but it can't be six. So that's eight or nine. 
one of these is nine in this row, because we've had the nine in the top row. One of those is nine, they both see that cell. Nine's in one of these three. Oh my goodness, this must be done. Come on, Mark. Nine, four, seven. These five in this row is done. It's there because that sees that by Knight's move. That fixes seven and five. That stops that being a seven and makes that a seven. Um, come on, six, nine, see both of those cells. So neither of them can be a six. Seven, five, six, nine, three. They're both even. They're from two, four, and eight. Four sees that cell, so that's narrowing it down a bit. These, oh yes, that is done. Eight and six. That eight sees this by, by magic. I mean by... So oh, and now I can do the totals of these cages finally. There we go. Lovely. Those two are orange. That's a three. Seven and nine down here are done. Six sees that cell. It's just happened now. That's an eight. That's a one. That's an eight. That's a nine, that's a six, that's a nine. We colour away like a frenzied artist. Those can all go blue. Okay, so that's not a two. That is a two. In fact, four and six are done as well. I bet seven and nine are done at the bottom. They are. This is a four, three pair. They are resolved. Hurrah. Red there, no blue there. Why? Where does red pop into my brain from? Don't know. So that's a six. That's a nine. That's two. That's eight. This is two. That's not two. In fact, that's even. That's odd. And this one is even. And if we fill in the digits, six, one, and four. And that's a lovely puzzle. Joust odd. Brilliant stuff from Pulsar there, most enjoyable. Very tricky in some ways, but maybe not as much as I found it. Thanks to Nighty McKnightface and my supplier of Nighty McKnightface. And thank you to you for watching. Always a pleasure to have you with us. We will see you again, I hope, for more Variant Sudoku tomorrow. Bye for now.